30. It's, uh, it's New Year's Eve. I kind of want to get through this before the next year so I can leave all of the carnage and destruction in 2013. Happy New Year's, guys.
closer to that. I think we found it. Did we find it in time for New Year's? Look at that. Look at that berry. It's just number one. It's only number one. Number one rod berry. December 31st. Eleven forty-nine. Is it really only eleven forty-nine? Yeah. Well, we got a few a few minutes left. Happy New Year's, everybody! Eleven minutes and count. Look at that. There's just sections and chunks missing right there. I don't have a whole lot to explain that, except maybe the bearing surface was overloaded. We'll have to look around. Look at that chunk right there. It's about to just flake off. That's the kind of stuff we were finding in the oil pan. Mm. It looks like my first assumption was correct. These don't even have any bronze in them. These are so cheap. That's a steel backing with tin and lead. These are probably the cheapest bearings I've ever seen. Not terribly impressed. Well, I got a set of ACLs on the shelf, so uh, I know what future is ahead of this block. Uh, the journals on the crank look really good, actually, considering what they've just been through. Come on over here so you can get a close up on that. Here's the other bearing. The other bearing seems to be stuck pretty good, so I have a feeling it's probably looking just as rough. Huh, very strange. The number one rod bearing. I caught that early. Yes, it appears that the bearing spun. You can see right there on the edges. Seems to be some distortion of some kind. Nothing that can't be cleaned up and put back together. I caught this just in the nick of time. So sometimes when you hear valves rattling, my advice is to stop and check your oil. Cut the filter open. Make sure you don't have a bigger problem than just lifters.